Good morning, Mavericks. Today is September 19th. I'm Hazar with your Mav Vision News. Theater will be having their first show of the season, Farce of Habit. The show will take place on September 29th at 4, September 30th at 7, October 1st at 2, and at 7. Tickets for students will cost $5. For general admission, it will be $8. Tickets will be sold at the door. Attention, Mavericks. There will be an art contest. The due date to submit your work is September 22nd. The poster is for Fire Prevention Week. The theme is Don't Wait, Plan Your Escape. The poster must be 14 by 22 inches and on theme. See Ms. Dugat in room 543 or an art teacher for supplies, details, and submission. Attention all Mavericks, theater is hosting our annual ice cream social. Students will need to meet on September 21st in the black box right after school. They will be giving out ice cream and theater information for anyone interested. Master Christ is having a meeting on Thursday in room 410 from 245 to 335. We would love to have you to be part of this fellowship, so come join us. Snacks will be provided. Media Monday! Media Monday! Uh, hey guys, welcome back. Our topics for the day are going to be the Emmys because we did not watch the Emmys. We're doing this for people who did watch the Emmys. So we'll go through a couple of the people that we know that won Emmys. We're going to start with people we know. So of course we're going to start with Zendaya. We're going to start with Zendaya. She won lead actress for Euphoria, um, the drama series. Okay. And most of the Emmys did go to like HBO shows to be honest. Um, HBO Max. HBO Max on top though. Like you It can, is! Bro, HBO Max. One of the most goaded streaming services ever, bro. Real. I'm not. It's even worth the lie. extra money, like, bro. To be fact, bro. Have you ever watched The Wire? The no. The Wire is so good, bro. What is that about? It's like as good as Breaking Bad. Mmm. Have you guys watched Breaking Bad? Let's talk about Breaking Bad for a second. I'm on literally still season one. Uh, <laughs> I'm on season one. <laughs> but y'all are so bad at keeping stuff to yourself. Literally, people that watch Breaking Bad, y'all send memes. Knowing that I'm still in season one, y'all send memes. Y'all talk about Better Call Sal when I literally haven't even gotten to that yet. I mean, it's been like, what, 14 years? Yeah, but who cares? Because if I'm friends with you and I say, I'm, I'm still in season one, and you send me a meme giving me a spoiler, I'm literally going to end my life because why would you do that? I feel like, I feel like Squid Game Sorry. was, I mean, it was good, but like, it wasn't that good. You feel me? Like, it didn't, I don't think it deserved to win Best Show. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, congrats to the producers and stuff, because I know they're proud, but I don't think that the show was good enough to win Best Show. But, Best Television Movie, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, I did like, I liked that movie, I thought it was really good. I liked it. Um, Jesse Armstrong won, I don't know if it's Best Writer, uh, for All the Bells Say. I don't know, I've never seen that movie before, but I do, I do like Jesse Armstrong, so, I don't know. Let's see who else. Um, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton won lead actor in a limited or an anthology series. But Michael Keaton is a good actor, so I think whatever he won for, as he should, he slayed. Media Monday. Media Monday. Uh, Tweet of the day comes from Lizette, and she tweeted, "Yeah, no, is my favorite combo." If you would like to be Tweet of the Day, follow us at PMHS underscore Mavision. That's all we have for you today, Mavs. Happy National Butterscotch Pudding Day. Bye.